workers you see here have not had a raise since September 2009, two years ago, okay? And Aramark's proposal is for them to stay, you know, at, at, at a wage freeze for the coming three years. So the workers here, since 2009, the consumer price index has gone up around 4.5%. That means that while the Angels are, are moving forward, while the, the, the Angels franchise is a success, while Aramark makes billions of dollars, these workers are falling further and further behind, falling closer and closer to the poverty line. Benefits are good, don't, you know, don't take me wrong, they're absolutely great, but we have to work a certain amount. By the time we work those mini games, the season's over. <laughs> oh, so they set the bar so high, it's yeah. almost impossible for you to get the benefits. Yeah. Kicks in in July, and, and only go to December, that's it. So you have to go from December to the next July without insurance? Yes. 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 So don't get sick unless, between December and July. Unless you're going to pay the four, 400 or 600 a month yourself. But nobody can afford to do no, that. No, no, you can't. But yeah, no, we, we're, we're like that. So if they're cutting down the number of hours that people have available, you're never gonna, you're be, you're never gonna be covered. Yeah. And raising the, uh, the... You're never gonna be covered. Yeah. protests just like this okay. and they have like fought and won many times so seeing this is awesome because they will definitely get somewhere for sure so these are the the, the guy who sold you a hot dog today. my hot dog, I hot dog man hot dog and man. i marched march with them just now so now why why would you march with the hot dog man what do you care because somebody that works as hard as he does deserves to get paid. we all work deserves. hard all why work can't hard. they earn what they deserve you know Go Angels! High five, man. Okay. Yeah, buddy! More than 500 of the 800 regular workers here have authorized actions from uh, picket lines through striking. So you see them here acting on the first of those, okay? So the majority of the regular workforce here has authorized a strike. It doesn't mean they'll strike, but they've authorized one if they've they They've authorized the union leadership to call a strike at any time. Share some of the wealth. I don't think all the CEOs are supposed to have all the money. I think they should share it. They're very greedy. And what happens with greedy people? Finally, one day, you're going to find out the people that don't want to work with them anymore. And who's going to make the money for them? They're not going to come and work for what we do. Because you guys are the concession workers. We are actually from the bottom up, from, I'm talking about warehouse, kitchen workers, and us. We are the one that keeping this going. We are the one that serve 100,000 people in two days. What do we want? Justice. Justice. And when do we want it? Now. So do you have health benefits, Lois? I do right now. Are your health benefits under threat? Yes, but I also have Medicare, so I'm one of the lucky ones that have something else. That has but government health care. Yeah, but the others don't. The second thing that's happened is that the workers have asked for um, the uh, what's called a strike sanction. A strike sanction is when you go to the rest of the labor movements. You go to the Orange County Labor Federation and you ask all the other unions, the grocery workers, the Teamsters, the iron workers, the firefighters to support you. Okay, And they can support you in lots of different ways in the event of a strike. So today we received official strike sanction from the Orange County Federation. Of labor. This is the cheapest company I have ever, ever seen. I don't, I, I, I don't know what their thinking is. We're the ones that make this happen here. We're the ones that get everything together and make it work for this, for this company. We've made millions of dollars for them, and they don't even have the common courtesy to meet with us at the table and discuss things. They came with no pencils and no paper and no money. We asked for management to make a statement, but they declined to comment. Airmark is making $30 billion off these guys' work, and these guys deserve a raise. A five-year freeze without a raise is impossible. We are the workers! We are the workers! Somebody